Hi everyone, welcome back to World Reads. My name is Dave. Today it's another tag video for you. This is the end of year book tag. Roll the titles. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wild Reads. As I said in the introduction, this is the end of year book tag. And I've seen some of my favourite booktubers do this tag recently. Simon at Savage Reads has done it. Brian from Brian's Bookshelves has done it. And Liv from The Book Nook have done it. All excellent, excellent videos. So I hope mine will live up to theirs. It probably won't, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And I've been looking forward to this tag because this, this tag... This tag, because this tag you can do every year and transition it every year. That's if I'm lucky enough to still be on Booktube this time. If you'll have me, I'll come back next year uh, and do this tag all over again. So I'm going to jump straight in with the questions. Um, we're here in non-fiction corner. This is my non-fiction area in the big green chair where it all started. Where it all started all those months ago in this trusty green chair. Let's get on with a tag. So we have, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? Now, usually I am a one book at a time reader. Unless I'm reading, I can read, as I said before, I can't read really two novels at the same time. I have to concentrate on one. I can read a non-fiction and a fiction together. With fiction, it's, it tends to be just one novel at a time. However, I do usually have a collection of short stories on the go, and there is one. I do have a collection of short stories that I am, uh, I do need to finish before the end of the year, and this is Alice Munro, Friend of My Youth, uh, which I've, it, this is a very old edition from the mid-80s that I've had for years and years and years, and I'm a big, a big fan of Alice Munro. She writes some of the, she's one of the best short story writers in the world today. Her short stories are absolutely fabulous. And I'm about a third of the way through. It's a, they aren't very long, but there's about a dozen or so short stories in this, and I've read about three of them. So I, and I've had this on the go for a little while. Sometimes when I finish a novel, and I'm not quite ready to jump straight into another novel, um, I like to start my novels fresh, really, in the morning of a separate day. So if I finished a novel in say the mid afternoon then i and i still want something to read i will reach for a short story and also if i'm in a bit of a reading slump as well i'll reach for a short story so that i need to finish by the end of the year because i've got in some some famous booktuber some other blogger got me into a very bad habit i can't keep i have to finish all my reading by New Year's Eve. I can't go into the new year still reading something that I've started the previous year. Have a guess who got me into that habit. And it's it's been a habit now for years and years and years. Question two on the end of year book tag is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Now, I'm not sure really what that question meant, ex except that have you, is there anything on your autumn reading list that you're still reading at the end of the year no the one big autumn read that i wanted to get finished was ali smith's autumn uh, and i've done that and i've already wrapped that up that was brilliant so question three is there a new release you're still waiting for there are a couple of new releases out there that i didn't get round to buying i want to buy ali smith's winter and i haven't quite got round to it yet but there are there are already three or four books three or four i think that i am i am eagerly awaiting january for so i will be buying those in january but there, there's no new i did think about buying the book of dust but have so far resisted it and i think i'm not buying it yet because i haven't read any of the um dark trilogies books anyway i do have northern lights down there to read and i will get to that at some point but i think i'll leave the book of dust until i've read the Dark Materials trilogy, the, the, the first bit, the first three books, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. I thank you. I shall move on to question four. Question four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Well, 
I do have beside me the Hollinghurst. This is The Sparshalt Affair by Alan Hollinghurst. And this I am due to read, I think I'm due to read this at the end of the week on the 15th. We're reading this between the 15th and the 19th as a, as a buddy read. Uh, Sean the Book Maniac, Steve Donahue, James Chatham, I think Steve Partridge. I think that there's a few guys joining in with this. Yes, looking forward to reading that. There are a couple of, I'm into a, a Robert Williams book at the moment. Actually, December has started off really, really well with the reading. You may recall from my November wrap-up, when I did the non-fiction November wrap-up, that I didn't really have a great reading month. But December has started very, very well. And I've already read, I think I'm on my fifth book already this month. So, uh, And I've read a couple of really, really good books. So I've diverted away from the question, haven't I? Because the actual question was, what are three books you want to read by the end of the year? And they are The Hollinghurst... I really want to read, before the year ends, I want to read my Dickens. I want to read A Christmas Carol during Christmas week because that's a habit. I used to read it every year. I just got into the habit of reading it. Isn't it funny how you get into reading habits sometimes? So I, I want to read that during Christmas week, but I've, lo I've lost my edition. I used to have a really, really nice Everyman's Library edition of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know whether I've given it away. I don't remember taking it to a charity shop. I don't think I've got a print copy of, I've got one on Kindle, but I, don't, I didn't want to read it on Kindle. I want to read a print copy of Charles Dickens, so I might have to go and buy one, because I really want to read that during during Christmas week. So I want to read that. I want to read The Spile Shot Affair, and I'm, I'm not sure. I've got about four or five books that are on a December TBR. Um, and I also want to get round to reading uh, Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders. Whether I'll get to it this month, I don't know, but I really want to. So we'll see how we go with that. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not always the best at keeping up with, if I say I'm going to read certain books at certain times, I'm not always the best at actually getting round and, and doing it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? Well, if there is, if there is a book that could still shock me, even though I am looking forward to reading this, I you never know. You never know. It could be my favourite book of the year. But I have, I was thinking earlier on, when I come to do my best, my best of the year, I might actually have a best of the year that I've read and not necessarily that's been published this year but if if any book that I've still got to read this year is going to be my favorite book of the year then it's it really is going to have to be a really really good book because I have read some absolutely belting books this year uh, and I am when it comes to filming that best of video of the year I'm really stuck I know I'm going to be stuck already because there are three books vying for for the number one slot so i might have to have three books in joint first for this year or i might not give them an order or two or at all i might just do the best dozen books that i've read this year and not put them in any particular order i don't know what do other people do do other people have a best of the year a favorite of the year i suppose they do but i really can't decide because i've read i can think of three instantly that I've read this year. I can't separate them. They are all absolutely brilliant in their own way. So I'm really stuck doing that actually. And the last question, have you already started making reading plans for 2018? Yes, but nothing too, I have, but nothing too rigid. I don't want, I want my reading next year to be a little bit free and easy and, and to really read by whim and not by structure and schedule yes I, I i do have a rough idea i'm going to set my goodreads total i think at 52 um so i'm going to set it a little bit lower so i don't feel any in it crazy how we put pressure on ourselves to read the quantities i know there's a huge great discussion on booktube at the moment which mistakes started off with her am i falling out of love with reading and there's been lots of videos that i've seen on that so i'm not going to get into that debate now I'm not sure if I'm going to enter that debate because I think there's already 
there's a lot of people that have talked about it far more eloquently than I could but um, I have enjoyed watching all of those videos. It's been a really healthy, bright discussion on, on, YouTube, on Booktube about it, so that's good. So anyway, so my reading plans for 2018, I, I'm starting to form them, they are loosely there. I've got a rough idea of the, of the books that are, I made my five star prediction TBR video, so I'd like to get to all of those books next year if I could and then make a follow-up video to see how I did. But yeah, I'm quite excited about next year's reading because it will be my first full calendar year on, on Booktube and I, I am very excited about the books. I'm, all, I'm very excited about the new releases to come in January. So yes, I am very much looking forward to, to, to reading next year. Um, and that's about it. That is all I've got for you today. I'm very sorry that I've been a very naughty vlogger and not um, and not made very much. I'm useless at this vlogmas lark. I might just steer clear of it next year because it's I, I haven't done very well with it at all. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. If you've dragged yourself through the sorry if I've rambled on a bit. I just fancied like a bit of a ramble and a bit of a chat with you all tonight. So there you go. So whatever you're doing this week, enjoy your books. I'll be back on Sunday with another booktube video. So until I see you again, take care. Bye-bye.